sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. People were worshipping the cross. So what is founded instead, you start worshipping the moon. Ah, they start worshipping the moon? Yeah, man. Ah. They've been worshipping the moon all their lives. Ah. Is that true? That's, that's what it is. Possibly. Is that true? Yeah. They realize it's no longer a church. Ah, it's a moon god worshipping place. All the moon worshippers can come and worship their moon. Yeah, that's why they put the moon on top of it. Because Quraysh was a Sabian tribe. So now we realize, he doesn't understand, look. Firstly, this gentleman has no understanding of Islamic history. Okay, Arabia, tell me Arabia, Islamic history. Don't, tell me, don't, tell don't, me don't, which don't tribe don't. was Muhammad from, sure. Quraysh. What sure. was the god of Quraysh? Tell me, were they Sabians or were they Christians or were they Jews? Firstly, answer Arabia, the question. In Arabia, in Hijaz, in where Mecca and Medina was, there is no historical evidence that the pagan Arabs ever worshipped a god which is a moon god. Lies! 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 Sabian! Sabian! I will show you all the Sabians were star worshippers. They're still there. There's two types of Sabians. One that also follow John the Baptist. But there is also the original Sabians from Haran. Haran is the place where Abraham used to worship before he became a prophet. The, the, the origins where Gobli Tepe is, where they have the pillars, that is worship of the idols from the very beginning. And that's Haran, and that's Sabian, and that's who Muhammad was worshipping. Get it? That was Quraysh. Hey, Sabians, right? Sabians. What are the principal deities of Sabians? What are you talking about? They worship the moons and the stars and all the gods. I'm asking you once again. Listen what? Listen carefully. What are the principal deities of the Sabians within the Arabian Peninsula that you... Sun, see? moon, god, all of them. All the stars and the moon, sun and the moon. And what is the name of this moon god that they worship? Habal. Habal is a moon god? Yeah. And who told you that? It's in the history. Hubal. Which history book? Sin. Sin was his name. Oh, now it's not Hubal anymore. Sin and Hubal. In different language, different cultures, it's Hubal and Sin. It's all there. It's all there, yeah. Sin was a moon deity in which region? Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia. And where is Mecca in Mesopotamia? What do you mean? Like, I said Sabians. They came from there. Remember. What do you mean? So, about okay. He's dodging the question. The question again. Again, the question comes. Let's ask you a question the one more time. What was the Quraysh's tribe? What was the name of the tribe? What was the religion of the Quraysh tribe? What was it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, 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 come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. Go, go back, go back. Go back, go back, go back. Okay, tell me, what was the religion of Quraysh? So I'm going back now. Yeah. Let him not come any forward. No, no, you go oh, back so you can get out of the, the view of the camera. Right. So you can be out of the view of the okay. camera. Okay, so go now, ahead. Within the Arabian start lying. Stop lying. Stop lying. Yeah, start it. Within the Arabian Peninsula, where Prophet Muhammad was situated, yeah. did the pagan Arabs worship a moon god? Yeah. 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 Oh, go, go. Yeah. That's yeah. That's why you put where, the moon up there. Where is the evidence that in Hijaz, in, in Mecca, in Medina, that the pagan Arabs worship the moon? Well, yes, yes. Okay, I will give it to him. You want that? What were the idols that Muhammad destroyed in Mecca? What were they representing? He does. I asked the question. I'm waiting for the answer. I am asking you the question. You the Hello, I asked you a question. What were the 365 me, idols? I asked you. It's in your you sources. It. It's me. in your sources. The question I asked is, what is your evidence that within the Hijaz region, where Prophet Muhammad was the most situated, Mecca and Medina... Did Muhammad Arab... not get rid of the idols I in Mecca? You. I ask you again. Please keep lying. Oh, dodge, again. dodge. No, Run around. Be Dance fair, around the fair, question. He's dancing around the question. If someone makes a claim, who has the onus to substantiate the claim? The I, I just gave you the substantiation. Did not Muhammad destroy the idols of Mecca? Yeah, and what the was idols. it? 
What do you mean what were they? Yeah, tell me what were they. What they were Sabians. No. Muhammad's tribe was Sabian tribe. If you go into history, what? you will see the Sabians. Even in Quran, <laughs> even in Quran, it says they were star worshippers. Yeah, yeah. Keep a distance Quran. and tell me. Uh, what were the idols that Rasulullah... So oh, la, 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 la. Listen, my friend. Idols are idols. Idols are what not idols? of Jesus. Are idols of idols are not idols. Uh, moon and sun and all the stars and planets uh, that they believed so in. You are now making the claim that the idols that Prophet Muhammad destroyed, they were idols of the moon god and the sun god, is it? I said, saying? no, he did not destroy the moon god because that was the god of Quraysh. He destroyed all the other ones except Where for his god. That, was, that, is, the, that is the history. Okay. The pagan Quraysh no, the god. pagan Quraysh has put the moon god on top of your mosque that you lied, that Turks put it there. Turks are not in power. They were not in power before 1600 when Muslims were using this symbol. You are a liar. This symbol has been used by pagans for thousands of years. That's You're a liar. That's a lie. Now, That's the truth. Let him finish. Let I'm finish. finished. Right. So now, claims after claims we hear is that pagan Arabs had the symbols of a moon god, the crescent, yes. over the Kaaba. They worship the moon god. It's there now. Look at the I picture of Kaaba now. It it's right eye. there. Yeah, I can see it. It's there. He said he finished. Didn't he? So now, Come on, somebody Google all, Kaaba. Look at the moon want, up on top of it. All we want yeah. is historical evidence to substantiate your silly claim that the pagan Arab Silly claim? You have not the answered the question. What was the, what was the religion of Quraysh? That's a fair question. The question was, what was the religion? you made a claim. No, no, he runs away. Okay, it's over. You lost. It's over. You cannot answer the question. I asked you, what was the... Uh, run away. Run away. I told you, I don't want to talk to you. You run away. You're not, you're not capable of answering anything. You think you are. You're not capable of answering anything. That's why cross, it's a waste of time. Of this particular camera. This camera, yeah. this guy this had one question. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. But well, I know you love us. Now, <laughs> so those of you who are really sincere, critical minded, yeah. what I would suggest you do simply is go to expert academic historians. Such as any one of your liking. Uh, any, <laughs> any professors who are experts? Uh, give us one. Give us one. Yeah, it's only, it's only, it's only one. I'm only one. He's asking for one. He did. I'm repeating what he said. Any professor. He's asking. Run away. Reputable universities. Just run away already, man. Where they are knowledgeable of the history of the Arabs. Where? Give it to us Go now. Ask them. Give it to us now. Reference. And what you'll find. None of them will tell you that the pagan Arabs of the 7th century As he cannot tell you Or the 6th century Or the 8th century They never within the Hijaz region worshipped a moon god called a moon god You will not find anything This gentleman Sin. who represents you doesn't deserve to represent you Do you know why? Because he will look Make you look silly. <laughs> you he that. cannot give any when answers. You go, when you go and go and verify from the experts that there is no historical evidence. He doesn't know the experts. He's mentioning Arab the expert. Well, give us the example of the expert. Tell him that he needs to learn. Give us one name, before before to talk. Okay, are you done? Bye-bye. All right. One name, so here, we, here is Mr. Mansoor. I didn't want to discuss this with him because he's a runner. Just ah. like all the other ones. Ah. Run, run, run. I asked him one question, he didn't answer. He's mentioned you experts saying nobody. I can Robert show Tony. him the experts Tony. and I will make a video after this yep. to show you the experts who will tell you Tony. the Sabian Tony. were star worshippers. Yep. They were star worshippers. They were moon god worshippers. It's all evident. The preacher is mistaken. Tell him so No, he's not. He will that's prove that's it to you that's and that's I will make a video that's and that's expose that's you. That's you are a runner. You are a liar. You don't deserve to be debated because you come from a place of lies with your deception of your God. It's for you. You come from a deceiver.
You are God is a deceiver and you are a deceiver. Go away with your deception. We don't need your deception. You can deceive all these people. Nothing you came. Nothing you came with the response. Quraysh was a Sabian tribe. Muhammad was a moon god worshipper. And he put the moon on top. And you know that. And you are still worshipping it. Even though the Turks are not in power, you can take that down. Who told you that? You, what? That Prophet Muhammad Islam put a moon symbol on top of the Kaaba. Who told you that? Okay, so the, where, where, when was the moon put up there? No, who put it? Up? Who told you that? Okay, so who put it up there? No, I'm asking you. You said... That symbol has been around for thousands of years before Islam. Yeah. By the pagans. And where did you get the information from? Go look at history. Which history? Which I will make a video, which, which show book? you the history he's talking about, you know which book? and get you which all of that. Which is I will get you. Which, 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 me the story. I will get you everything. No, tell yeah. me now. Okay. Which story? He, he does not have anybody. I will get you everything. Oh, you don't know. It. You just waffle. No, I don't. What do you mean that I don't know it? What? Which historian made that claim? I will show you the historian. Which historian made that claim? I don't have the name in my head right now. Any okay. academic works that I can Yes, find? yes. Which one? I will get it to you. I will make a video. No. Proving you wrong, I just like. Video. No, I, I just asked you. You work. could not come up with a single academic. Okay, you have a double standard. Right? Well, I, I asked you. Academics you need to know? No, 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 no. Who's no. making no. the Oh, that's good. Here, here, wait. Don't run away. So if you read let me give you some references, right, for you to read. Do we have some more? Okay. Let's start with a few of them. What are you uh, getting references for for now? References to tell you what? that you were all the way waffling about no, no, no. Arabian Be specific. What and their religion? What? And no, no, religion. no. Tell me. What are you referencing? I am telling you now. What are you referencing? Moon God was not worshipped in Hijaz. Moon God was not worshipped in Hijaz. Okay. Let's see. So I want you to go and read. Show me, show me. I'm going to show you. I'm going to ask you to read them. No, 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 no. You said you're going to pull up the references. It's going to show us that there was no moon God worship in Hijaz. I asked you to show that. I will show you the literature and all the history about the Sabians and that they, wait, wait, wait. they were following this. Sabians. Well, Sabians were in Arabia. Listen, yeah. in the, in the, in the Islamic was, tradition, there were Sabians. They are were the yeah, man, he's still he's such a liar. Yeah. The, are the Sabians not mentioned in the in the? Are the Sabians not mentioned? Listen. Are the Sabians? You you're saying you're a liar. You're a liar. Yeah. Do you know who says? But they, people who do you know who keeps saying when you lie, when you lie, keep lie, lying? When you keep lying, he's a takia. It's illegal. It's legal in Islam to lie. So you are a liar because your 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 God is a deceiver and he sends you to deceive and lie. So that's fine for you, but not for me. I don't lie. You can okay, read. you can lie as much as you want. Good. Let me tell you about the South Arabia and North Arabia. Rickman, J. Rickman, South Arabia. Religion of in D. N. Friedman, editor in chief in Anchor Bible Dictionary, vol 1992, volume 6, double the New York. Well, let me see it. Let me see it. I'll take a picture of it. Let me see it. No, no, I'll take Why a picture. Yeah, no, no, I will take a picture. Let me just double check. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Let's see. Take a picture. All right. Let's see. Okay. South Arabia. You All can right. find out what the religious belief system Go is. Go ahead. Let's believe. see. There was no moon god worshipping pagans in Hijaz at the time of Muhammad. Yeah? There were no one who had a worship of moon god or prophet Muhammad. In, in, the, in that region, yeah? yeah? Okay. Uh, what? And what was the name of the moon god for everyone's record? Sin. Sin. In certain tradition, it also goes by Hubal. 
which is also called we, Baal. Yeah. Said, do we have historical evidence that Hubal was ever called a moon god? Uh, you want me to pull up all the resources? Like I said, I'm going to get you everything. First Sin god. Claim, then you put the okay, evidence. fine. You, you haven't what proved anything. I'm not Dude, you're anything. wasting, you're I'm wasting my anything. time. You don't pull up the up. references. I'm setting up the frame. But he hasn't made up the reference. Right. But he has, he right. has to prove the reference. Are you he just said. He just. Well, where's the, where's this proof? Did you ask him? Where's the reference? Where's the reference? He doesn't bring it up. I will. I told your camera. I will produce all the evidence for the, all these claims. And what are the, the claims you're proving? That Hubal, I, that, Hubal, yeah. that Hubal was the god of uh, of uh, Quraysh. No. Sin god, the, the moon god. That is why you have the moon on so top of your mosque. So, so. You guys are moon god worshippers. Are you going to prove to us that Hubal was a moon god? Before Muhammad created Islam, he worshipped the goddess uh, a lot. Are you going to prove to us the mother time? goddess Allah was listening? actually the consort of pagan god prove? Allah? So are you, you guys to, are full of paganism. Are you going to prove to us that Hubal is a moon god? Yes. Right. That's his claim. Is okay, I will get you the video. We'll take all that. What? We will wait for the reference and we will see what Yeah, yeah, yeah. He hasn't given the reference. He told us he's going to give. I am not making a He claim. did not give the you reference. He just... Claim. No, you just he went in your phone Save and said, I'm going to give you the camera. reference right now. And you didn't. What? He's what? a liar. And you guys know what? it. I will get I you know. all of that. There will be a follow-up video. I, I read that also for you. you. The Arabian mythology, Hubal, was a god worshipped by pre-Islamic Arabia. Listen, read this. Read it! Yeah, in Arabian mythology, Hubal... Arabic was God worshipped in pre-Islamic Arabia, notably by the Quraysh in the in Mecca. Go away, go away, Ibeka, man. Ibeka. Go away with your lies. Did you see that? Stop lying. He is deceiving in front of you. Hubal is a moon god. That's what it says. Does he say that? Can I? Can yeah, you, you can laugh. You can laugh. In the end, you guys will cry. In the end, you will cry. When Jesus comes, you will cry. That's okay. You believe Jesus is coming back. Not Muhammad. He is dead. Muhammad is dead under the ground. Does he say Hubal was a moon god? And that's the. Does he say Hubal was a moon god? That's the. 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 They didn't have a moon god. Which one was their god? You make a claim there was yeah. a moon god. Okay. You need to substantiate. You no, I substantiated because Muhammad had the moon put up, put up in the... Where's your, on their, where's your evidence? Go look at Mecca. Sir, go look at Mecca. It's got the moon god up here. Making an academic claim. Okay. So my, the, the Kaaba doesn't have the moon. The, doesn't have the moon. The Christian polemicists... That's what they do, isn't it? I don't you see. Like, I don't yeah, yeah. They, they worship three gods, and then they expect they say Muslim worship one. So this is what you get. This is what you get. What uh, we don't. We don't worship three gods. Christian yeah, of course you do. Oh, yeah. So who's Jesus? Who's the spirit? You are telling me. Person, yeah. person, yeah. person, yeah. person. Making academic claims. When you ask them to substantiate it himself, go look it up. Go and make an out. It was a divert. It was. They don't want to get caught up liar. Because the lie is a lie. They don't want to get divert in here. Carry on fighting. Please don't sit there. Look for it. So this is the level of dishonesty of these people. That's right. In front of your own... Oh, thank you. Clearly in front of you. There's so much deceiving. 
سبحان الله ما الله سيد اس ان اوكي سير يو كان ميك يور بوينت بس يو نوت جيفينج اس ذا ايفيدنس سو يو كان بروف ات وي لوكينج فور ات نو نو سو تيل مي دو يو نوت هاف ذا مون اون توب اوف يور ماسك اي دونت وانت تو كول يو ا لاي وات نو تيل مي يو دونت هاف ذا مون اون توب اوف يور ماسك سو هيرز ذا ثينج يو ميد ذا كليم ذاتس كومبليتلي فاين رايت وي كان اجري ذاتس فاين يو كان جيف اس ا بيبر يو كان جيف اس ا هيستوريان يو كان جيف اس ا ستدي از اول ساينس از ديبيتد تو سبستانشيت يور كليم You're not doing this. I can't tell you and I can't prove a negative. Okay, the camera, look at this picture. Sir, <laughs> Sir this is a show photo. To the camera, not to you. Look at this. Show Sir, picture this is a photo. Yeah. Yeah. You this is evidence. What, 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 what is this? Yeah, this is a photo. What, uh, this is a false photo? No, it's a photo. Okay, it's a false photo. Give all right. Evidence, all right, all right, all right. What about this mask? What about all these masks? What about it? What wait, about wait, sir. So, sir, what is the moon doing on top of your mask? You, okay. What wait, is the moon doing on top of your mask? Tell us what is the moon doing? Well, tell me. I told you. What? It's a moon god. You're worshiping okay. moon god. Where is your This isn't evidence. Okay. I asked you a question. Oh, I answered your question. Yeah. Okay. I showed you well, well, you have wait, the moon on sir, top of your mask. You want to know why there's a crescent? Yeah. yeah. No, because it represents uh, what is it represent to a time of Ramadan? No, the moon in Islam is we count Times the months, right? So Islam goes by the lunar calendar exactly. rather than the solar calendar. So the symbol of the moon is representing only for counting the purposes. Quran mentions when the um, Ottomans yes, okay. put it up yes, there yes, in the top I of the building, uh -huh. it's yeah. to differentiate between the churches and everything else. And Islam. So that this is an Islamic place of worship. That's a good they did not, as I said earlier, they did not destroy all the churches that they have conquered or they opened up. They simply put a sign there. But now no this moon. is an historic place of worship. They left the whole building intact. Right. So this is the tradition of the Ottoman rabbi. This doesn't mean the Ottomans somehow made all of the Muslims worship a moon god because the Quran itself says do not prostrate to the sun or to the moon but prostrate to the one who created okay. them both. Did you not even hear about this? All right. So he said that the moon is the calendar and that is what it represents the time lunar calendar all right we all heard that right now let's go there lunar calendar was followed by the jews by the indians by the the whole world was following moon calendar hindus were following moon calendar did they put the moon on top of their temple did the jews put the moon on top of their uh, synagogue what is the significance of putting the moon it's a, it's like a time piece it's like a device that god used for keeping time did he say start worshiping it and putting it on top Who's of your, your why are you putting it on top of your mask if i put a cross in there doesn't mean i'm worshiping the cross you're venerating it yeah you're venerating it because we have a significance of cross what's the significance of moon i just told you don't you good agree? no because time so time keeping is something okay yeah okay so time no but do you understand that time was kept the same way by all the cultures Listen to me first. If you want me to answer, you got to listen to what I'm saying. Oh, now he wants me to listen to you. If you want me to because you're 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 engaging me. So before before you engage me, no, before you yeah. So I told you he just lied. He said that because the moon that is not the significance. Everybody was having the moon calendar. Nobody would put the moon on top. If you're using a car to get somewhere from here to there, it's a device. It's something that you're using to do something. If you're telling time God kept the moon, yes, it's true. Christians, Jews, everybody was following the moon for calendar. Why would you put it on top of your mask? Okay, what, what, you tell us. No. Okay. No. Don't do. Wait. I'm not finished. I'm not finished. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let, let me. Yeah. Yeah. Let me finish. Now. Earlier, he said, "We didn't do it. The Turks did it." That argument now is gone because the Turks didn't put it. It was because Muhammad told us to follow it because the moon is what our calendar. What kind of deception is this? In front of you, he deceives you. Didn't he say that earlier? Brother, did Prophet Muhammad did you did he not hear him say did Prophet Muhammad says will command us to put a symbol of the moon on the top of the mosques did he no he didn't no so why did you put it there you made a claim earlier on prophet himself put it up there and it was always there before the Turks came into the power did our religious Places like mosques, did they have the crescent symbol on the top of the mosques? No, there was. Did the flags have the crescent moon? 
Then the flags have the crescent moon. I'm telling you, before, before the Turks instigated this symbol on top of the mosques, what were the mosques having on top of them? Did they have a symbol of the crescent there? Before the Turks came into power, were there any mosques with the symbol of a crescent? I'm asking you, and we are waiting to hear. Go ahead, you're making your well, point. Uh, you need you to answer. Before the Turks came into power and they started. Keep changing your story. Come on, that, now new new story. Come on. Listen, listen. yeah, I'm listening. The very beginning, so, so what's when the, the point Turks, you brother, yeah. when the I'm answering again. When the Turks came into power, the Ottomans, the Turks came into power. This is one of the things they did to differentiate between religious places of worship instead of demolishing the whole building. People are leaving, man. It's why, getting why, tiring. Why you're you you're tedious. Your arguments way. are tedious, bro. Everybody's why getting are you tired of you. No, man. Answer. Keep so what? So let what? Me yeah, so answer me. Is it is it calendar based? Thank you very much. So okay, go ahead. Saying, when the Ottomans was in power. Huh? When the Ottomans uh -huh. were in power, yeah. and they opened up the lands, when they went to different places, they had conquered, opened up these lands, in which there were religious places which were You said it before. Can you stop repeating yourself, bro? I don't have so much time. I'm summarizing Please. for your own benefit because you could listen. You have some little bit of comprehension issues. Go ahead. Go I'm trying ahead. to get I'm to trying to say it. You've been I'm going on. Come on. Go ahead. Right. So they made sure, instead of building and erecting new mosques altogether, they simply converted those buildings into mosques. Not by demolishing everything, by putting a mihrab, removing or covering some of those iconic yeah. icons, right, yeah. on the windows and so on, yeah. removing the idols of, of your man god and so on, remove all of that, and remove the cross which you venerate, you can say, which you worship, remove all that and put a symbol of... Of your veneration. Just use the word veneration. Word veneration. Because you're replacing the... Look, if you put it somewhere else, you replace that symbol with this symbol in replacement. A replacement means you're venerating it, you're putting it in the face of... Stop lying, you're deceiving. There are people who think, you know what, if you, if you were worshipping a frog before, and now you worship a man, it's the same thing. That is analogy. Islam says rather, no, it's not. When you abandon idol worship, full stop, no idol worship. Oh, just... So when they put the symbols, in their flag, they had La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Where? Where? Is it on, on the moon? Is it written on the moon? La ilaha illallah. In a flag, were there any moon in the flag? No, of course there were. Yes, there were. You lied. What is the what is this flag? What is the flag of Pakistan, Iran, uh, the Turkey? All these flags have the moon and the star. Do you have a comprehension issue? What? Am I talking about Pakistan today? No. I'm okay. About Even the ancient the times, time of they were the flying the flags of crescent moon. First, when Prophet Muhammad was some point with his companions to fight, what did his flag say? A crescent symbol? It had crescent moons on it. Yes. As well as your thing. So what? Just look at this camera and say that again once again. Look at your, your own camera and say that again. Yeah, yes. Muslim, the Muslims, was, when they were conquering, no, they had no, crescent no, moon no, on no, their flags. Look how he's the dying. Muslims, no, what? Say, when Prophet Muhammad say, when Prophet Muhammad was fighting, his flag had gone to us. What? No, I'm